So hey guys, guess he's back. Johnny Axel, or AKA Johnny Nye. <clears throat> Been off for a good month or so, and I don't mean for that to happen or anything, but I couldn't find the charge of this camera, but that's besides the point of today's video. Video, I just saw um, an interview with Rebecca Black stating the whole entire meaning of Friday. Like Friday has a meaning whatsoever. I think that the writers of Friday didn't really didn't really have a meaning until they're asked what the meaning was all right like first like I heard there was JFK connections in it because like you know some probably like faggy like masturbating off into space looking at halo posters from from 2002 oh, it's the best game ever jack off kid was probably just like well okay JFK got a theft there on a Friday we were sitting in the back seat so and they told his wife to get down on Friday. The last thing he had before he went off and got assassinated was cereal, which frankly gave more goddamn sense than the things that she was saying. Alright, she said, uh, gotta have my bowl, gotta have my cereal. She said that was about American consumerism. She's 13 and she knows what consumerism is. That doesn't really work out that way. So they're like, oh, you gotta have it. Can you gotta have it? You gotta have it. No, that's the marketing skills. Consumerism is more putting out the product that you know consumers will buy. Gotta have my bowl. Gotta have my cereal. First of all, there's a lot of people in this country without cereal. Second of all, you kind of need bowls. I mean, some dishes require bowls to eat, like soup. I'm not gonna just like fucking eat that out of my pot, no. And she was like, sitting in the front seat, kicking the back seat. Like, she was like, oh, well, that relates to the war. Like, he'd choose like the front seat, like Pakistan and Israel and all those other countries, or he could be in the back seat, like Iraq. Pretty sure Iraq is in the front seat, because it seems to just be the middle of it all with Pakistan and everything. Then she was like, a lot of these lyrics were written in quotation, but it's not supposed to sound like party and party and yeah, it's supposed to sound like Partying, partying, yeah. She's 13, and I'm pretty sure, like, behind the cameras or some shit like that, she was probably reading, like, an interview script saying, like, excuse me, excuse me, sir. I have a question about my, oh, yeah, this is my Rebecca Black accent. It's pretty good, top notch. I worked on myself. Hmm, sir. I have a question about line 37 of my interview script yeah um what is oh, how, how do you pronounce how do you pronounce that word communism wait no that's what? Consumerism? Oh, consumerism. Oh. Uh, what is consumerism? And by the way, isn't like she supposed to be pregnant right now? Honest to God, she didn't look like she was packing anything. She looked like just a skinny, like, fuck, to be completely honest. Thing is, I now want her to burn in hell. Before the whole thing ended, she was just said really fast, like, it was like a subliminal message where it was just like, Oh, oh yeah, by the way, I watch Full House and I hate Jesse. Okay, I hate Joey too. Oh, bye! And it shows a picture of the person who played Joey, and then just, like, blanks out. So it's like, really? Really, Rebecca Black? You're 13, and you're dissing on someone who has made more money than you, way older than you, has more experience than you. He's probably like the best character out of the 90s besides Fresh Prince and Family Matters. What the fuck? Not sure what my next thing's gonna be. The next video's gonna be on my next, uh, on my uh, skit channel. 
status overload films. Also, uh, I might be appearing in a couple episodes of this new group called Calcium Anthropology. They already have some stuff up already, like behind the scenes footage and stuff. It's really actually pretty cool. Pretty good indie stuff, just getting started. So, have all that in the boner bar right down there. Until next time, whenever that is, because I keep saying next week and never works out. So I'm just going to say whenever next time is, I will see you then. Oh wait, before I forget, Saturday, June 4th, Battle of the Bands. My, both my bands are performing there. Sterling, Virginia starts at 2 o'clock. Tickets are $5. There's going to be like 6 or 7 bands. It's going to be amazing. If you're in the area and want to come over and visit me, do that. Information down there. So... Now, I promise I'll be Rebe better than Rebecca Black. Ugh. So, yeah. Peace out, motherfucker.